Okay, so uh, lots of people are having this same problem with their computer, and it seems just about unfixable. The keyboard error, press F1 to continue on boot up, and what are you supposed to do? It doesn't work. Well, after having my computer broken for a few months and trying different things, I finally figured out how to get it to work. So, first I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, come over here. I turn on my computer. Just gonna wait a minute here. Not a minute shorter than that. Loading. Make sure you can see the screen. Okay, and here, as you can see, it says disk drive zero seek failure, keyboard failure, press F1 to continue. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, press F1, nothing happens. Nothing's working on the keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to get it to work. Okay, so I turned off my computer after getting that screen using the power button. Uh, now you're going to want to unplug all your cables except for the one to the keyboard. Unplug your mouse, unplug your external hard drives, unplug any speakers in there. Just power supply, monitor, and keyboard should be plugged in. And then you're going to turn on your computer and start pressing the F1 key really fast. Okay, now you can hold it down. As soon as you see that bar come up halfway, you can just hold down the F1 key like this. See, holding it down, don't let go. Just keep holding it down. Still holding it down. It's going to say keyboard failure, just keep holding it down, don't let go. Okay, now switch, as soon as you see that screen, switch your finger from holding down the F1 key to the Enter key. See, now I'm holding down the Enter key. And now it's, see, I got this, pretty sweet, eh? And so, so it said, you still can't use the keyboard, it won't let you even though your lights popped up. This thing pops up safe mode, normal, but it says you can't press enter to select normal because it's still disabled, but there's a clock saying 12, 11, auto selection, and 9, 8, 7. You just sit back and wait. 2, 1, and then loads up. Okay, I'm not going to videotape anymore because no point in showing you anymore. Once it shows that, your keyboard will be working normally. Just plug in your mouse and all that. And you'll have to do this every single time you turn off your computer and turn it back on until you reinstall Windows or something like that. Okay. I can type with my keyboard. So yeah.